Terry Dwayne Nash are coming back Friday, June 25th with main draw first round matches. Wimbledon 2021. 7.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, we're going to now take a quick look at the draw and who's going to play who uh, in the first round. We want you to decide on which match is going to be most exciting for you. Wimbledon uh, 2021. You're getting this report on Friday, June 25th from Terry Dwayne Ash for SN News. Street Now Sports Tennis specifically. We're coming in with you with this update about the release of the draw on today, Friday. Uh, the time is right now. It's 6.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Washington, D.C. Reporting from Washington, D.C. to metropolitan area. Uh, here are SN News, Street Now News. I'm Terry uh, Dwayne. Ash, we're looking at the draw right now. We're looking at Novak Djokovic being our number one seed. He's coming up with... Uh, in a first round match, it looks like against a wild card winner, uh, a wild card, Jack Draper, who he's going to be playing in the very first round. We're looking at Kevin Anderson, also in the top um, half of the draw um, with him, and he's going to be playing against a, little, a player by the name of Chillin player, a Chillin player from Chile, a 23 year old, 6 3 foot, uh, 6 feet 3 inches tall, 195 pounder from Chile, 23 year old. Marcelo Barrios Vera is who Kevin Anderson is going to be coming up against his first round match. And we are looking at our number three seed, uh, Roland Garros, finalist, who just lost against Novak Djokovic, the finalist of Roland Garros. Stefanos Sissipas um, is number three seeded. He's going to be playing against uh, Francis Tafo in the first round match here at uh, Wimbledon. American John Eisner, seeded number 28. He's in the bottom half of the draw here, coming up against a Japanese player his first round match number six seed Roger Federer is in the bottom half of the draw and can only meet Novak Djokovic if they both make it to the finals let us remind you that Roger Federer uh, Roger Federer number six seed looks like he's the, um, the highest profile player in that bottom half of the draw um, and Rafael Nadal has pulled out of Wimbledon so he probably would have would have been down there in that bottom half of the draw. Instead, we have Roger Federer down there waiting. From SN News, Street Now News Chicks perspective, bottom half of the draw appears to be Roger Federer's to lose. That's if he's going to lose at all. It appears uh, that Roger Federer has a smooth, smoother sail, sail uh, into the at least the semifinals uh, there. We're going to look at the top half of the draw and see who the formidable men players uh, are up in that top half with Novak Djokovic. Again, I cited for you uh, big server Kevin Anderson made it to the finals of Australia of the U.S. Open, actually. U.S. Open had one of the longest matches in the history uh, there. Um, so he's one of the men to look out for in that top half of the draw where Novak Djokovic waits. Also in the top half of that draw is number six, 16 seed seeded Tomofis from France. They're six four tall 187 pound right hander from Swiss living currently in Switzerland. Tomofis is in the top half of the draw who could meet Novak Djokovic, if all goes well. Now, Mofis is seeded number 13, actually, in uh, the tournament, but he is ranked number 16 in the, the world. Now, we did mention um, Sissipas. If Sissipas gets past Francis Tafo there, uh, Novak Djokovic would have to go through Sissipas again in order to get to Federer, who will be waiting or may be waiting for him down in the bottom half. That is given that both of them makes it to the makes it that far in the tournament. Moving on, moving on to the ladies draw right now. Looking at the um, potential matchups, 
Already looking at the first round matches. Ash Bar, the number one seed and number one player in the world. She's coming up against Augusta Veteran, Carla Suarez Navarro. Uh, she's uh, a Spanish player, 32 years old. She's been on the tour there for a while. 5'4 feet tall, right hander there. One hand, wonderful, wonderful one hander. She's made it far. She's been playing for a while now. Uh, she's going to be coming up against uh, crafty player uh, Ash Barley now. Carla Suarez is pretty crafty herself. So it's going to be a very, very interesting match, actually. Looking at the match up there. Who's up in the top half with Ash Barty on number one C? We're looking at here Kiki Burton's number 17 seed. It's up in the top half there. We're all so looking at the uh, fact, yeah. Um, we have some very, very, very interesting players up in that top half there that could um, could battle Ash Bartley for that title there. We mentioned Kiki Bergens, but we look also we're mentioning uh, Johanna Conta, number twenty-seven C from Great Britain, is also in that top half of the draw. Victoria Atsarenka is in that top half also. She's seated number 12 in this particular tournament. Down at the bottom part of the top half of the draw, we have Corey Goff, Coco Goff. She's seated number 20 for this Wimbledon tournament. She's up um, against a wild card um, winner there, Jeeva Francesca Jones from the UK, a 20 year old right-hander there who's um, living right now in Weybridge, um, Great Britain. She's ranked number 194 in the world right uh, now. A young player, a young Francesca Jones, going to be going against young Coco Goff from Atlanta, Georgia. First round match to the All England tournament known as the Championship. The Championship, which is the third Grand Slam of the year. The grass court. Grand Slam of the year. And let us not forget Angelique Kerba, seated number 25 for this tournament. She's also in that top half and also up there waiting down at the very bottom of the top half. Serena Williams, seated number six. Seated number six. Serena Williams is in the top half of the draw that could battle against. Um, Number one seated uh, um, Ashley Barty, uh, somewhere in the semifinals there. And now we're going to look at the bottom half of the women's straw. Carolina Pliskova, seated number eight, leads the bottom half of the draw. And in that bottom half of the draw, she has down there waiting with her is Sloan Stevens, who is a one-time U.S. Open champion. And also, she's uh, Serena Williams' beater at the Australian Open a few years back. That was uh, Sloane Stevens. I have to get through a formidable player, Petra Kvitova, seated number 10 for Wimbledon in order to get past the, the first round. There, That's who she's playing. That's one of the matches that uh, we're going to be uh, watching uh, the first round here. We have Laura Davis from America down to that half of the draw as well. And Danielle Collins, American Danielle Collins, um, is down in that half also. Sophia Keenan, seated number four for the Wimbledon tournament, is down in the bottom half of the draw, along with Ega Swastik, seated number seven. Now, Venus Williams is not uh, seated in this particular tournament. Actually, she had to receive a special wild card in order to get into the tournament. And uh, Venus Williams is down in that bottom half also. Now, what does that mean? You know, I haven't heard this in a long time, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. Not that there's any possibility it might happen. We hope it happened. We don't know if it's going to happen. But Venus Williams, if Venus Williams makes it to the final, she could a chance. She might be able to play against Serena Williams in the final because right now, the way that they're set up, Venus being in the bottom half of the draw and Serena being in the top half of the draw, if they both makes it, to the finals, then they both would have to meet in the 
finals. And that would be another Williams All Williams final again. That would be something, wouldn't it? Well, Venus Williams is in the bottom half of the draw there. Serena Williams is in the top half of the draw. And leading the bottom half of the draw is Arna Sabalenka, uh, Belarus. Uh, she's a six feet, old, six feet tall, 23 year old right hander. Plays uh, out of Belarus. Uh, she's currently ranked number four in the, the world. And um, she's leading the bottom half of the draw there. I want to look back at Venus Williams. I want to see where she's ranked right now since she was forced to receive a wild card uh, in order to get into Wimbledon this time. Uh, you know, Venus is turning 40, 41 years old. She's still playing well, still playing well. Um, but um, we want to see where she's ranked right now. I'm going to come right back with that for you. But before we got to Venus Williams' rankings, there's one player that I have always said I won't forget she always smooth through the draws nicely smoothly very good players lots and lots of success we're looking at madison keys american madison keys she is ranked uh, she's seated number 23 here she's ranked right now number 28 in the world she's a 26 year old american uh, who uh, plays right-handed She's gotten far in these tournaments before. I'm looking down here. And it looks like her Grand Sim results uh, have shown her to first, let's see here, 2021 third round, fourth round. She's been making it far in the tournaments. But Madison Keys, I just want to mention that she's, she's um, still in it. Ranked number 28 uh, in the world. Uh, playing uh, birthplace Rock Island, Illinois. Currently lives in Florida. Let us jump right back to uh, Venus Williams. Uh, Venus Williams, who's down in the bottom half of the draw. She's a five-time Wimbledon champion. She's currently ranked number 103 in the in the the world. One of the reasons why Venus Williams is uh, it's been mentioned here is because she is a five-time champion. She won it. In year 2000, 2001, 2005, 2007, and 2008. And she's also won, won it in doubles. It looks like she's won it in doubles six times there. So she can't be counted out. She's played uh, 22 years. 22 years at the Wimbledon. So that's one of the reasons why we're mentioning Venus Williams. She's in the bottom half of the draw, 6-1 um, six feet one inch tall player, right hander from uh, Linwood, California, right now living in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to mention here in terms of the Grand Slam results is I'm going to share with you how Venus Williams has done in the Grand Slams here. From since the last time she made it beyond the second round in 2019 at the Australian Open. She made it to the third round there. All the other times, most of the other times, she's either gotten as far as the third round or dropped out before since 2018. Um, at Wilmington, uh, she has gotten as far as... She lost first round at Wilmington in 2019 the last time. So we hope to see Venus gets further this time if she gets as far as again the finals she could meet her sister there in the finals given all works out on HN there looking directly at some of those first round matches Novak Djokovic number one seed is going to go against Jack Draper round one Stefano Sissipas number three seed is going to go against Francis Tyfo there in the first round these are some matches to look out for Looks like going to be a very interesting match. It's not that others aren't, but this, these are the ones that are high-profile matches. Roger Federer is going to be up his first round match against uh, Adrian Monarino. His first round match there. Number 13 seeded French Mofis is going to be going against uh, 
Christopher O'Connell, his first round match. And back to ladies, ladies seats to look out Flash Bartley is going to be playing against Carlos Suarez Navarro. Sofia Kina is going to be up against the qualifier, her first round match. And we did mention there our number two, 20 seed is going to be Coco Koff is going to be up against Francesca Jones of the UK. Number 23 seed Madison Keys is going to be up against the qualifier, her first round match. Okay, you're getting this particular report from Terry Dwayne, Ashford in Washington, D.C., the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan, area, Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Baltimore area. Uh, we're reporting for you, Street Now Sports, tennis, specifically. Um, I'm Terry Dwayne, Ashford, you're in the car, see that guy.